Perhaps I could sit with you while you wait. Minnie, how can you possibly eat another boiled egg? I have a terrible craving for a mum. Well, I wish you had as much craving for your work. Have you changed all the bed sheets? I surely will, mum. You, Miss Lane, were the last baby in your family to be born in this post office. Heaven knows when this place will see the next. Miss Lane, I wanted to apologise. There is no need. No, I need... I feel... There were such thoughts in my mind when I took Annie outside. I know. And you are not alone. I saw in your face what I felt in my own heart secretly. A personal question of you. Do you ever hope? I believed I was past such things. I have chosen this life, and it has been immeasurably kind to me. But these past few days, it has quite taken me by surprise. I keep asking myself, have these emotions been stirred up because I offered to take in Annie? Or did I offer to take in Annie because I wanted to stir up these thoughts and questions. They are only feelings, I suppose. No, Miss Lee, no. Surely feelings are the stuff of life. Well, to be honest with you, these feelings have made me feel that I'm ready for Annie to go now. It pains me to admit it, but... Her presence here disturbs me so much. I don't know what another night would do to me. What I'm left with, constantly, what keeps me awake at night is, what is one to do when there is nothing to be done? <sighs> Miss Lane. Miss Pratt. My Mara's asked if you could keep Annie for one more night, and since you had said how much you...